In Excel, it's easy to create manually formatted chart titles or dynamic unformatted chart titles. But in this video, we're going to achieve the impossible and create dynamic formatted chart titles. So let's fire up Excel and let's go. Let's start by looking at the example file that we're working with. So over here in Excel, we have a table and that table is called data. We also have two data validation drop-down lists which are based on that data. So we have one for the product and we also have one for the quarter. Now, to get the data that we want to display in our chart, we are using the filter function. So wherever our product is equal to the item in our data validation list, they are the values which are returned into our filter function. This is then used to create our chart. So if we change the item in our data validation list, you'll see that our chart updates accordingly. Now below that, we have some calculations. These are the numbers that we want to use inside our text. So first of all, we have a lookup that picks up the value based on the product and also the quarter. Then we look up the prior period value, we calculate a percentage change, and we also calculate the percentage of the total. And you can see those formulas in those cells there. Now let's look at the text that we want to appear at the top of our chart. So here in cell H27, it says Delta sold 81 units during Q4, 26.3% of total sales and minus 3.6% versus Q3. Now this is a formula. If I press F2, it now highlights all the sections that this formula refers to. So our selection is in cell H3. So H3 sold I22, 81 units during K3, which is Q4. We then use the char 10 function to create a line break. Then we use the text function on our percentage. While our percentage here displays as 26.3%, this is because we've formatted this cell. What we need is to display our percentage to so say just one decimal place. So we use the text function and say we want to display that to one decimal place. So we have our percentage of total sales. Then if our selector, if our quarter is Q1, we display an empty text string. Otherwise, we then display the variance to the previous quarter. So we've got the text, and then we say either a positive or negative percentage versus, and then we calculate the previous quarter number. Now what this means is that if our quarter is quarter one, there is no previous quarter to compare against. So therefore by using this if function, this piece of text only displays if we have selected Q2 to Q4. So that's our formula. Now, if we change any one of these elements, you can see that our formula changes and updates accordingly. If you want to get this formula into our chart title, we click on that, we come to the formula bar, type equals, and then click on the cell that contains our chart title, and then I'll press return. So that now gives us our text, and it is dynamic, so that when we change the elements, that our chart title also updates. Hi, I'm Mark from Excel Off The Grid. That's the place where we show people how to reclaim their time by automating Excel. So that means they don't have to work late anymore and they get to spend more time doing what they love. So if that sounds good to you, why not head over to excelofthegrid.com and check out our training program. The next step is to create the list of words that we want to format and the formatting that we want to apply to those words. I've called these power words. You can see them here. We have a list of the text that we want to format. And you can see the formulas which we've used to generate that. So all we want to do is now format these words. So let's say we want to apply this green formatting, make this bold, and then size 14. And let's apply this to our two other values as well. We now have our percentages. Our first percentage can't be negative, it can only be a positive number. So I'm just going to make that bold. Our second two percentages both refer to the total change. Now this could be positive or negative. So if it's negative, we want this to be red, for example. And if it's positive, we want it to be green. So I'll select those colors. 
Now at the moment, only minus 3.6% highlights, and that's because we have a negative variance. If I change this so that it's a positive variance, you can see that that now is green and a positive value and the red value turns to not applicable. So this means that depending on whether our value is positive or negative, our formatting will apply differently. To apply the formatting, we're going to use a VBA user defined function. If you look in the descriptions box below, you'll find a link to the blog post for this video. If you click that link, you'll be able to find the blog post and that contains all of the code that we need. So go ahead and copy that code and then come back to Excel. Now, before we go any further, we just need to understand how this VBA user defined function works. So it's called FX format chart title. It has four arguments. The first argument is chart name. This is the name of the chart that we want to format. The second argument is title text. This is the text that we want to apply to the chart title. The third argument is default text style. This is a cell reference that contains the default text format that we want to apply to our chart title. The fourth argument is power words. This is a reference to the range of cells that contain the words and the formatting that we want to apply to those words. Okay, now let's head back to Excel and press Alt F11 and let's open up the Visual Basic Editor. I'll select my workbook, click insert and then insert a new module. It's called module one. And then in there, I can paste the code that we've copied. Now let's head back to Excel. If I click on my chart, you can see in the name box that my chart is called chart one. So when we come to apply our formula equals FX, you can see format chart title. Now the first argument that we want is the name of our chart. So we saw that that was chart one. The second argument of this function is the text that we want to enter into our chart title. We have that there, that's cell H27. The next argument is the cell that contains the default text format. So whatever font or color, whether it's bold or italic, what cell contains that format? Well, let's select cell H27 again. And then the last argument is the power words. So the list of words and formatting that we want to apply. So I'm going to select that entire range. I'll close that bracket. Now watch the chart title. As soon as I press return, you see that has now formatted to be exactly as per our text and also with our power words. So what happens if we change our product? Fantastic, that recalculates and that works. Now let's change our quarter. Yes, that works as well. So we now have a fully dynamic chart title that is formatted. Have you ever seen that technique before? Let me know in the comments. Let me know whether you have used it before or whether it's completely new to you. If you like this video, click here to subscribe and click there for more Excel goodness.